Hi, this is Billy Joe. So, this pick a card reading is um, we're going to look and see who is secretly in love with you. So, I have three piles here pile one, pile two, and pile three. Let me get this set up on the stand and I'll show you what decks are in the piles. Okay, for pile one, I used the Enchanted Love Tarot. Oh, get that moved out of the way. Pile two is Legacy of the Divine Tarot. And pile three is Trip and Wyatt Tarot. And then I also used some other cards to um, just kind of help. I used Goddess Power Oracle in all of them. Karma cards. Some past life oracle cards just to give you because they I used those because I thought they'd be good um, <clears throat> just to help like give maybe what they do or something just an idea and I used the soul purpose cards by Bridget Rowe of Divine Essentials so <laughs> I do want to tell y'all thank y'all so much um, I had been wondering where all the comments were. I was like, I'm never getting notified anymore of any comments. <laughs> and I pulled up, I usually do everything on my um, cell phone. And then I pulled up my laptop because I wanted to do some editing. And I just so happened to look down on the side where it says comments. And so I pulled it up and everyone's comments for the last like six months <laughs> was held for review. And I was like, what? So, um, some of y'all it's just now going to get, you know, I read everyone's and I heart them and, and lots of times I like to leave comments and so some of y'all's just now getting comments or little hearts or something. So if, if that ever happens to where I don't reply or, or don't respond at all to your comment, just know I didn't see it at that time. And when I do see it, um, I will <laughs> let you know that I saw it. So if you need more time, you know the drill, you can pause the video. Always remember that only take the parts of the reading that resonate with you. Um, if it doesn't fit, don't force it. We don't have enough loop for that, right? So let's go ahead and get started with those that picked option number one. Okay, those of you that chose option number one with the Enchanted Love Tarot deck, Let's look and see who is secretly in love with you. So, we have the Nine of Roses in reverse. Now, in this deck, it has to, of course, do with habits. Okay. Um, the High Priestess. The Princess of Shells. That's like the Princess of Cups. The number 49, uh, I don't know how you pronounce it, Uzume, Uzum, whatever. It means humor. <laughs> Divine Feminine, honoring the ways of the sacred feminine cycles of rebirth. Imprisonment or slavery. And in the 10th house... It, you know, for your destiny, where you're going, your career. Um, but let's go ahead and look at all these first to see. I'm just using these as oracles, okay? So, with the Nine of Roses, okay, with it being in reverse in this deck, it has to do with some kind of habits. Um, when I'm looking at it and compared to the rest of the cards, um, and then, of course, we have the imprisonment and slavery card here. I'm sensing mostly this has to do with possibly, possibly mostly negative self-talk. Someone who's, um, maybe they don't have a very good image of themselves. Because um, we it's next to the high priestess. So they probably see you as someone who's higher up than them. Someone they have up on this pedestal, you know. They don't think they're worthy of you. Um, the High Priestess is um, associated, if you want to know astrological signs, has to do with Cancer, 
and um, then we have Princess of Shells, which is water, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We do have Princess, the High Priestess, Divine Feminine. Um, so this does seem like this would be, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, but this person mostly operates in their feminine energy, okay? So you may be a woman that has the Divine Masculine energy, you may be a man with the divine masculine energy, but regardless what gender you are, this person, it doesn't matter what gender this person is for you, um, this person does have the divine feminine energy, okay? We do have that card here, and we have this moon here, which tells me that they could also be, you know, cancer, because the moon is a cancer. So, um, this person seems to have a very wonderful, warm sense of humor. Um, again, this is someone who puts you on a pedestal, but at the same time, they're, they're very intuitive. They have a lot of spiritual growth, a lot of spiritual knowledge. You know, even though, um, some of us are considered, um, spiritually evolving individuals, um, we still have to, we still go through those, that self-doubt. We still go through those struggles. And this it seems like this person is too. And we have Princess's Shells here. So, of course, it says this person, you know, they're a romantic. And lots of times, water signs are definitely romantic. Um, the imprisonment or slavery, what that tells me, again, that probably has to do with some self-limiting beliefs that um, they're still working through. Um, also could mean in the physical realm they may be um, possibly in a situation they feel like they can't get out of whether that's a loveless marriage or um, maybe they're they have a family and kids and you know even though they're in love with you secretly in love with you they may be in a situation where they can't express that again they they have you on that high pedestal they may feel like they're not worthy of you um they may also be in an actual prison you know but um your destiny this because you know we have the divine feminine here we have high priestess this person is um spiritually evolved so they possibly see you as their destiny someone that they're heading towards um but right now they don't feel like they're able to do that so let me draw some i know lots of times y'all like it when i pull these letters so let me pull some of these letters and see what kind of letters could possibly be in their name this you know doesn't mean this is for sure in their name, but it's just possible they could be. Okay. So we have a D. An I. An L. And an E. You know, the rest of them are... Um, <laughs> face down. I don't read the ones that are face down. So I hope that resonated. Um, maybe you can kind of figure out from that who is secretly in love with you. Um, thank you so much for watching. Oh, also I'm just now hearing this. I'm sorry. <laughs> they may work at a prison or a jail. I'm just now hearing that. So, okay. Thank you. I'm going to get moved to those that pick pile too. Okay, those of you that chose pile option two with the legacy of the divine tarot, let's look and see who is secretly in love with you. So we have the star. <laughs> the star, um, if we're looking at zodiac signs, that would be um, the Aquarius. So Aquarius. Um, so with this card, this always makes me think of wish upon a star. This is someone who, um, actually that you dream of as well. Um, this could be someone who's wished for you. Of course, that's what we're talking about, right? <laughs> so, um, Aquarius, yes. Um, the star, these are people who, um, 
They like to learn things. Very inquisitive. Um, they like to do research. They, you know, especially when it has to do with the stars. When it has to do with, um, like for example, I'm Aquarius Moon. So I love to, I love learning about like aliens and the star systems and astrology and um, like I love watching Gaia Network. Like, that's just the most, like, with spirituality and everything, that's the most amazing thing to me. Um, I know that my daughter, my youngest daughter, Michaela, she is an Aquarius sun. My ex-husband is an Aquarius sun. And they're very logical thinking people as well. They like to learn things, but they're, they're, they're open to a, a limited amount of, you know, um, things like... Like, I love watching, like, um, ghost hunting shows and stuff, and they're really not, they're really not, they're like, they'll watch it, but they're like, mm, I don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> but, um, when I see the star, that always, um, makes me think about my daughter, and, um, <laughs> she has a great sense of humor, and she does like to learn things, um, she is very inquisitive and sometimes that's not always having to do about learning things sometimes being inquisitive about other people's business <laughs> or who's that who's that over there <laughs> and then we have the seven of coins so coins is earth energy taurus virgo capricorn but with the seven of coins it has to do with someone who's very hard working they take pride in the work that they do they're very responsible and then we have the High Priestess. <laughs> the High Priestess was in Pile 1 too. But this one, this is telling me this is, um, this is someone who is very magical. Very spiritual. Um, they may be considered, um, I'm hearing they may actually be very heavy involved in some, like, church, um, or, um, they may be called witch you know, some type of spiritual type of practice. And then we have Kuan Yin for compassion. So this person is actually very compassionate. You know, they have this type of understanding. You know, that, you know Aquarius also has a lot of understanding. It doesn't mean Aquarius is that person, but I keep on picking that up. Um, but with the star card it just lets me know you know and the compassion it just works together because they have this understanding of where other people come from and what's going on in their lives then we have okay the fire keeper it says phoenix creator creator of sacred transformation so this person has probably is probably why they're compassionate they've probably been through some things that they've had to rise back out of the ashes you know, they've transformed from um, who they were in the past into who they are now. We have lessons and blessings. So, again, they've had to learn them some things. And now um, they try to be a blessing towards other people. And that also has to go with someone who's spiritually evolved. And then we have, okay, I guess this is why I keep on picking up that Aquarius energy. Because it says, in Aquarius. Um, genius to experiment with discoveries of resulting from eccentricity of so that's funny because um, um, my boyfriend one time was talking about some of his friends said I was eccentric and he was it's not a bad thing I was like no well I wasn't thinking it was I kind of like the fact that I'm eccentric um, but this when it's in Aquarius again like I was saying with Aquarius is they're they're very into learning things and when they learn something they become very knowledgeable in that subject um so wow your person is someone who's very hard working um possibly they worked not only physically on their physical matters and very take pride in what they do and what they've worked on but they make their the star card they make their dreams come true a high priestess again lets us know that they're very knowledgeable um they have a lot of peace in them a lot of wisdom in them um kwan win 
Quan Yin lets us know that they are full of compassion. They, um, Firekeeper, they have risen from things they've learned from, lessons and blessings. Um, again, they're just, they're people who have taken what they've learned and they help other people with this. So maybe you know someone like that. Let me get some. That's funny that I kept on picking up that Aquarius. So let me get some letters that might help you with like initials or maybe these letters are in their name. Okay. What do we have here? So we have... I had to get my nails cut. <laughs> w. L. T. R. I. <laughs> T turned over. Y R R V So, those are all your letters. I hope they hope you can see them. <laughs> so, I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, remember to only take the parts of the readings that resonate for you. Don't force it to fit. Not ever, ever, ever. And if it doesn't fit, that's okay. Maybe it just wasn't the reading for you. And uh, you could pick another pile or you can just pick another reading. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get moved to those that picked pile three. Okay. Those of you that chose pile option number three with the trip and wait tarot. Let's see who is secretly in love with you. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. That's funny look at Ace of Pentacles. It's funny because it's melting. Um, <laughs> Pentacles is Earth energy. So that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, doesn't mean they have, when I name these uh, zodiac signs, it doesn't mean they, they are this person. It doesn't mean it's in their sun, moon, or rising. It could be, or even in their Venus. But they could just have these energies. So the Ace of Pentacles, Aces are always new beginnings. So, but the Pentacles is the slowest moving energy. That's Earth energy. So it's the slowest moving energy of all the, the elements. And when you have Ace of Pentacles, though, that tells me that um, it's something that they want to manifest in the 3D realm, in the physical realm. So, um... This is something they want. They want new beginnings in the physical realm. And then we have the star. So, <laughs> the star card was in pile number two. And um, the star has to do with um, Aquarius energy. And the star, to me, stands for making your dreams come true. You always hear that phrase in my head, wish upon a star. Um, the star card, especially if it... Um, and it has to do with, you know, um, learning new things, being open-minded to learning things. Let's see. We have the strength card. So the strength is Leo energy. You see the sun and the lion. And the strength card has to do with, you know, where she takes control over her um, passions. You know, her anger, her lust, her desires. Um, any kind of passion that she has, she's taking control of that passion and she has gained strength in, in wisdom and infinite grace, you know, in this understanding of her passions and taking control of it. So this person, um, it, I'm hearing they may be a dreamer in, in my head, um, but even though they're a dreamer, they they do have some logic in them. They do. They have tamed the beast within. And then we have, oh wow, speaking of the beast, 
we have the devil that's capricorn energy <laughs> and um the cat if you look they have chains connecting them and the devil card has to do with um, desires addictions uh, lust so what i'm seeing here to me is this is someone who really wants something definite with you um they're secretly in love with you you're someone who makes you know you're like their fantasy their dream come true you're the person that you know they view as the ultimate person you know a 10 out of 10 um this person is very strong they're um they have um, inner strength about them. They have conquered many issues in their life. And this person is very um, sexually attractive. I'm going to say like that. They are someone who, you know, you are, you would be highly attracted to. And they are highly attracted to you. Okay. So next we have Maya. For illusion. Things are not always what they seem. Right? And then you had an extra one of these cards. Number 32. Mama Killa. The moon. Again, to me the moon has to do with things that are unknown. Things that haven't been revealed to you. But what happens to that stuff in the dark? Things in the dark come to light. So things that you you know, haven't known before things that's maybe illusion. Maybe they portray themselves as your friend or maybe it's a coworker and, you know, you don't notice that their eyes are on you all the time. But those illusions are about to be um, revealed because we have the moon. Anytime we have the moon, you know, we also have the sun here. So there may be illusions and things hidden from you, but with this big old sun in the strength card, this lets me know things are about to come to light because then we also have the Ace of Pentacles. That's things in reality. These things are about to be revealed to you. We have committed. You have committed to a sacred union. Um. So th what the funny thing is, especially, you know, I'm seeing the chains on the devil card and the rings. So this person may be married. I'm hearing in my head... Um, some of them, you may know them, they may be married to one of your friends. That's not for everybody. So only take that part if it resonates and you're, you're instantly going click and you're like, oh my God, I know who this is. It's only for those people, right? And then we have unrequited love. Um, with this, this may be a loveless marriage that this person is in. And they also may see you as someone who would not feel the same about them. And then your last card we have is sun. So what was I saying about, it's funny you have the moon and the sun. This actually, okay, now first of all, now I'm hearing two different things. First of all, what I was saying with what's done in the dark comes to light. So this desire they have for you, this connection they feel with you is going to come to light. Also with the sun, because we have the sun and the moon here, I'm hearing for some of you, y'all may be twin flame energies. You know, the divine masculine is the sun and the divine feminine is the moon. So this may be a high level soulmate or twin flame to one of you. Um, the sun card, of course, it says the creation of things brought to life or light and the gaining of respect for or from. So this may be the creation of something new um, for some of you. But anyways, <laughs> so let's go ahead and, you know, because we do have the Ace of Pentacles, so it may be something new once you, once you realize and you're like, oh my God, I have felt it too. That magnetic chemistry from the sun and the moon, right? And, um, you probably already know they're in a loveless marriage. Um, some of you know this person or work with this person and you're like, oh my God, I know his wife or I know his, I know her husband or, and this person's such a B word or, you know, 
Yes, yes, yes. This is going to resonate with some of you. Okay, so let me get some letters here. See if some of these letters might be in their names. I pulled an awful lot out. So we have O, we have E, we have R, Y, A, T, T, A, and O. So I hope that resonated. Thank you so much for watching. I had fun doing this reading. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Um, if you like this, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you can get notified. And leave your feedback. I love reading your feedback. Just, I just now realized that um, YouTube has been holding the comments. So that's funny. But thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.